Mahdi's flagship is the Victory 2 Star Destroyer with Harrow and disposable capacitors, also featuring Admiral Ozzel and Fighter Coordination Team. There's also a Demolisher Gladiator 1 with Captain Brunson and Assault Concussion Missiles, and then two Gazantes. And then for a squadron complement of 133, we have Morna Key, Colonel Genton, Dengar, and three Decimators. Regan's flagship is an Assault Frigate Mark IIb with electronic countermeasures. He's got a Nebulon B Salvation, four Hammerhead Torpedo Corvettes with External Racks and Task Force Antilles. He's got a GR-75 with Slicer Tools and Quantum Storm, and he's also supported by Shara and Tycho. As first player, my options were opening Salvo Fleet Ambush and Solar Corona. Opening Salvo isn't very good for me since I'm so outgunned. Solar Corona is also not very good for me, but not terrible. Fleet Ambush is really great because of Demolisher, in addition to the fact I can put my Decimators really close. So this is one of the first few times we, uh, we're we playing uh, Fleet Ambush. I picked it in like either our first or second game ever with objectives. I brought it uh, as my objective, and he picked it and just completely destroyed me with it. So uh, I was pretty excited to see it, uh, especially with this fleet here that I brought, because it's a little jank. But um, Fleet Ambush really just mitigates the jank there, because the whole point is just to get the Demolishers up into into uh, attack range on uh, turn one there with uh, Ozil and Fighter Coordination Team. But... Um, he did it for me. So, uh, yeah, I was really surprised he, he picked it uh, because, uh, like I said, how bad it went for me the first time around. Granted, I picked it. I didn't really understand exactly how it worked when I first picked it. Uh, so that was a bit of a wake-up call. But yeah, so uh, he doesn't do anything in terms of deny, denying me any space in the, in the uh, ambush zone here. But, so that, that worked out for me. And uh, so I'm just reviewing it again, just making sure. So I'm like, okay, I have to do ships first, no squads. That's fine, because the, again, this fleet, you know, you can't really, the whole point was to get squads on, on the target turn one. Can't really de uh, delay with those types. So, um... Throw my Gazanti down here, and it kind of flusters him. He doesn't really know what to expect from this, which I'm kind of surprised by because he did pretty much did the same thing with his CR-90s. So um, when we played, so uh, played this last time, I guess uh, you know what six months ago, seven months ago, um, when we first started out. So I, I do that with my Gazanti, keep it there, so it can you know. Be effective in combat, so like uh, and support still without you know being completely vulnerable. So plop uh, the other Gazanti here after he plops his freaking flagship down right there. That that was probably the second mistake there, in uh, in his game. So uh, he picked he picked fleet ambush and then he picked his flagship as the first deployment. So now I know exactly where to go with my demolisher. Um, so I'm like okay. What rules are there for denying me space? There aren't any. I just can't deploy on top besides deploying on top of obstacles. So, um, back that booty up there. So I had to look for an escape vector with my uh, demolisher. Uh, put in at speed too, just like my Gazantes. So that was the main thing that took me so long to deploy is, oh, I think he had a glitched, yeah, yeah, he had a, he had a glitch speed dial there, so uh, I was making a joke about how big it was, um, so yeah, it looked really big on the screen for some reason. Anyways, um, yeah, so I need to find an escape vector for the demolisher here, in case it survives, and um, plant, plants this uh, hammerhead. He's got a bunch of hammerheads to place, so I'm, I was like, okay, they're they're either going to ruin my day or be kind of ineffective, and um, I think he picked the wrong angle to take it at with the hammerheads here. I think he should have maybe done the inverse. I don't know. Um, 
maybe I would have turned the opposite way with all the hammerheads on the on the left side, but like I said, like it would have been harder to do. So who knows? I'm gonna place my Vic Victory down here, and I'm like, wait a second, I actually moved it a little bit. There we go. But I actually, uh, I don't know why. I, huh? Okay. But uh, anyways, yeah, I accidentally placed a little farther right, further right than I mean to, so I had a little panic attack. Uh, when I first move up, now it's time for where my decimators. He only had Taiko and Shara, so I was like, okay, gotta keep some room for Dengar here. Um, again, and I think this is kind of where the third mistake comes into play. So he places a Nebulon out far here. Um, Salvation is a, uh, that's a good title. I like it. Uh, but I, I, not, again, I'm not sure if it's entirely useful here when I can kind of escape along the uh, edge of the board if need be. Uh, so yeah, just throwing down uh, all those other hammerheads here as I throw down my decimators. Then plop Dengar down in over here just to make sure Morna and Jenden can kind of essentially escape. Um, it's one thing I didn't really think of. I'm like, oh crap, I put them a little too close here because now they can be engaged right off of deployment. Not even, now that I think about it, I'm not even sure if there's a rule against that. I'll, I'll need to review. But, um, yeah, so I throw my, my squatty boys down there. Um, yeah, he's, he's considering, you know, Locking everything, and then he engages Dengar. I I don't really know. He should have put it on the other side. Really, made me hop over with Dengar or something. I don't. I don't really know what uh, his thought process was here. I'd love. I wish uh, I asked him about this. But um, he was pretty tired actually while we were playing this. Um, so <clears throat> it wouldn't surprise me if he just kind of. You know, had like a thought, and then was like, "Oh, duh," type thing. Um, why it wasn't really the best idea, but yeah. So he engages Dengar there, so I don't even have to worry about his squads. Also moves my uh, victory forward one, and that's when I can start kind of start realizing, "Oh crap, I might overlap this debris field." So uh, he has me, or I take a squadron with my demolisher, and Mordekis shooting front to front here. And he redirects the side with three hits after I uh, re-roll, I think, two dice. So uh, I put down Morna Key and uh, over there, so just to keep Morna on target. <clears throat> and out of the way the Demolisher, because uh, the last thing I want is for them to get pinned on the backside there. So Jenning goes and has Morna go again. And... Don't really know where to put Jend in here, and I was really debating. Yes, yeah, so there's another three damage, and he burnt his redirect. Um, and I, after I burnt my brace token with Morna, so I'm really not sure what I want to do with Jend in here because uh, due to relay existing, and ultimately I'm like I don't care too much. We're off to a pretty good start. I'll just keep him there to um, you know put more pressure on with uh, squadrons. So um, here is probably my Park of the century here. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I declared that first move right, or the the second move I made essentially. Yeah, that's the one I declared, and I wanted to go see the first move at how bad it would screw me over because I was I was considering that also. So uh, he let me do that, and um, but uh, I obviously declared that first move. So now I come in here and thwack. Uh, oh, I rolled two red, and those missed uh, my first attack, but my. Uh, I do some mad damage here with um, my demolisher. Text my demolisher here. 
with uh, Hammerhead, which I thought was strange because he actually obstructs himself here with uh, with his move. So I, I end up taking three damage. I just redirected it, really. And he goes in for the ram here, which, you know, is a fair move. But, uh, yeah, so uh, I ended up parking Demolisher, like, it, purely within the front arc of the one at, like, long range of the other one. And with this move, it obstructed the single red auto salvation. So I think I hand over a repaired token here with my Gazanti. Do that or a nap. Um, pretty sure it's repair though because I was just going to take my nap uh, with the victory here. Uh, so he goes forward with the slicer tools. And he actually, I had a confire I think queued up. He actually sliced that over to a squadron, which is what I probably should have had. So I think that's his fourth mistake there. Uh, in terms, I, I would probably personally just give it a repair. Repair keeps his fleet alive, repair doesn't hurt him, you know, like, he can work through a repair. But, um, it's essentially one, it's the inverse of a concentrate fire die. But, uh, with a repair three there. But, um, yeah, so I, yeah, I take my token here, I have a repair, yeah, so, uh, moving forward with victory, I completely forgot about fire and coordination team, not like it matters at all, uh, here, but... Yeah, so I perfectly parked. Uh, first he cleared front side to front side, but then he realized he can't. Uh, so then he rolled the three. Um, I didn't really use my defense tokens very well. That is probably some one mistake I would I kind of wish I had back. But um, yeah, so oh yeah, so he declared front to front, and then yeah, so he's doing a uh, anti squad here against more key, I think, or. Maybe the other two, I don't know. Um, yeah, so he rams uh, the gladiator, and I'm pretty happy with that move because now I have some good stuff here. I move forward. I take the nav dial actually with my Gazanti because he's really out of the fight, and I want to be able to deliver tokens to help with deal with that slicer tool. GR75 there, and yeah, so I plot my stuff down uh, there, Boop, good, decent spot, uh, gets him into trouble though with those uh, two green and yellow hammerheads that we'll see here soon. See, so yeah, he slicer tooled a, a squadron on my demolisher, and I am i can't, like, I kind of believe my luck, like, that is glorious. I mean, granted, it doesn't matter too much because I have rogues, but, um, it ultimately did because it let me deal enough damage so Reekin was off the field sooner rather than the squadron phase. So, I mean, yeah. In the end, it didn't really matter too much. Uh, there we go, just getting that squadron in there. Um, but yeah, it was... Uh, Again, I probably would have gone with the pair. Yeah, so that's obstructed because he went with the uh, hammer hedge first. Uh, he parks it here with this nav. Takes a token, I believe. But um, I would have slowed down and started turning in more. Try to deal with the demolisher at least. Um, you know, he's throwing two to three red instead of one to, or uh. Yeah, two to three red instead of uh, zero out of the side. But, um, because I think, yeah, he just missed the arc there with it. All right, so pulling up, taking some damage there on my gladiator from these boys. Now my hammer heads, or my decimators are now doing their job against uh, Reek in there. Oh, okay, yeah. so squadron didn't matter. Okay, yeah. so squadron didn't matter, but it let me help kill, you know, a hammerhead first now. That's what it, okay, that's that's the play. Uh, yeah, so. Um, yeah, so I start working now that Recon's off the field turn one. That's why you don't take fleet ambush kids. Um, it lets me uh, take, down, take down a hammerhead even quicker. He engages. I'm like, okay, that's fine. I have Dengar. Dengar actually killed the flagship, I believe, with his one black. Um. So, how about that? 
Just doing some tacky stuff. So you can see uh, now we're to round two here. Um, I forgot to add the score in uh, at the top. So I have that out during my stream. Um, Kind of regretting not bringing uh, Jenden back a little bit, but with the uh, with the uh, you know Gazanti there to help relay stuff, but it's not a huge deal. Um, I'm fairly confident in my ship's abilities here because I'm going first here, so I can escape. Uh, I hit, uh, I ended up doing two side attacks here, but yeah, so uh, my first, my squadrons are going, Morning Key is doing her, her terrible, terrible meanness, I think it was three damage once more out of her after reroll, plop her down, you know, somewhere where she can contest, you know, future ships, because I'm like, okay, this hammerhead is not living again, um, He, he just kills it there with uh, that, even though I was going to re-roll with uh, Ordnance Experts. I guess I was pretty tired, so uh, I don't think he was... Um, it's probably one of his worst games ever, if uh, to be honest. And um, it's always a bummer, because, uh, you know, you always want your, to play your best, your opponent's best, because it, uh, it's what makes the game fun. So here I uh, ram the... Um, Quantum Storm here with Slicer Tools. He really loves the Slicer Tools now, so uh, <laughs> this is main defense against Squadron. So he ends up going with um, Salvation here. And throws, uh, you know, three red here against my boy, Victory. I think I. Yeah, we just had to do math because salvation makes math tricky. He didn't attack Demolisher, I don't think. That's strange. Yeah, see, like, like it's just those little misplays I was talking about. Like, he's not really, uh, thinking 100%. And I'm surprised I didn't. I guess I must have missed that too. Uh, or something. Maybe I Brunsoned out of it earlier. I, I might have missed that dice roll. Because it's just going so fast here. It's hard to commentate. But, um,. Yeah, so the throw decap out here so I can get, uh, you know, that finish off that hammerhead before it can activate. And uh, it doesn't really matter on the salvation. It's already at medium range. And I have gunnery team. So I kill that uh, Amy boy there. And I plop the other one there. Uh, I think I, I add a blue just to maybe decap or uh leading shots that red but um or go for the accuracy but i think he braces it down i don't know yeah okay so he braced it down there um so braced on that attack and i'm coming in here I just use my nav token so I can slow down to speed one and I don't even take the extra yaw <laughs> from a hero. So I'm to speed one because I want to turn up on these <clears throat> hammy boys here that are coming on my flank uh, because I'm feeling pretty confident that you know Demolisher can handle uh, the, the Demolisher and the Decimators can handle the, the Salvation and the Quantum Storm. So uh, he's making anti anti squad attack here out of the side, pretty decent attack. He got he's got five four targets there. What is math? Uh, I was including the gladiator in that math. Um, yeah, so not bad. 
Yeah, so I think we're just talking about how a quantum storm interacts with slicer tools. I think you kind of want to slip on down to my. Oh no, I think he he wanted to ha uh, he didn't want to move out of range. I think that's what it was um, of the slicer tools. But I said, well, you can trigger it on either movement. So there, uh, there's my score update. Um, put in all three of those. Uh, all right, so yeah, so I want to pretty much have half his points off the board. And yeah, he blinks it forward, he sliced me again, putting, I think, another squat on. On my uh, gladiator there. Which again, like, not too bad, it could be worse. Uh, I don't know. He's, his goal was trying to make, make it fly off or something. In the end, it, it won't fly off. Uh, because I think it, even without getting any nav commands, it can inside turn away at speed two. Um, but it, like, it's gonna obviously have a set really hard time becoming relevant again in combat. Uh, so I guess I guess maybe that's what he's trying to do. So he attacks the side of my Gazanti for three, and he uh, goes for a ram. He's able to lock down the scatter. Which is nice. Uh, oh, sorry for two damage. I think uh, after the evade, but um, I attack him back. Take one. Make him take one to the side. Um, probably should have done front. But uh, yeah, so I'm trying to escape here. But then I realized I kind of wanted to deliver a nav token to the to the demolisher so it can. Stay relevant. Um, slash confirm it not flying off the board to its demise. Because at this point, I do want a 400 ohm because um, it's completely within the realm of possibility. So I end up going like this. It's a bit of a risky play. Uh, I end up making a legal turn at first. So I had to take a net back. He whiffs on his uh, attack just to, uh, to try to kill something. He can't even ram. Um, which is perfect. So, I, uh, yeah, so now I think it's round two squadron time. So. I move my uh, Desi's to do some damage. He then goes after Jendin, I believe. Um, no, he goes after that one there a wee bit. He's got counter two due to Dengar. Um, so they do some exchange. I take the brunt of it, but he escapes. He He's not afraid. Do some mad damage to uh, the fronts of the Salvation here with some of these Decimators. End up taking it off the board. Perfect timing. Um, now... Uh, yeah. So now I get to go first with something here. Uh, so I'm putting things down. I want, like I said, I want to deliver a nav token to the, to the Demolisher here. Oh, I'll update the points. Um, kind of nav, uh, which I give the token to the demolisher. I take the shot at the front. He does task force utility or something. Put on the side. Good play there. I think he kind of forgot they had task force utilities. Um, I kind of forgot he had task force utilities. I just want to make sure I didn't overlap anything, or I didn't make an illegal move again or something. I don't remember. Uh, cause at this point I'm trying to, try to coast along cause uh, he does seem pretty tired. Um, so I don't want to, you know, jip him on anything. Uh, let's see here. He's, he's talking about how he wasn't, why I moved the Gazanti first. I'm like, I don't care if you do damage to victory. I don't want it to die. And he's like, oh, okay. Uh, so he does some mad damage with external racks. I brace, uh, and redirects. 
throw it down on the front and left side there because there's no longer salvation there to hurt me. Um, I got gunnery team, so doing some math here in my head, trying to think what gives me the best odds, and he's like, and then I'm like, wait a second, I have a squadron. So, uh, homeboy here throws a couple blue at this on the storm, and then runs towards this, uh, you know, hammy boy, uh, that hammy boy. <laughs> Just to avoid it escaping on the side. Um, rolls three damage here. Uh, I think I burned the scatter with that. Uh, so then I throw one at the front. It does damage. Yeah. Um, I think I no. Yeah, I think how we ended up ramming. Yeah. So I ended up ramming him with my Gazanti into the Quantum Storm. So now Quantum Storms. Not looking too hot. Uh, I think it's got two ram damage on it already because I think it walked into its uh, friends. Oh no, I hit it with the uh, with the gladiator. So uh, he he pulls up here. He he only had a medium ring range attack. Uh, so now it's the gladiator's turn. I throw out uh, some dice out of my rear actually. <laughs> Uh, but I, I think I have another squadron because of Quantum Storm. So I start doing mean things with Quantum Storm, or uh, with uh, the squadron. Two damage, no scatter, he's dead. Thank you, Jendon. Dengar moves just to keep those guys nice and uh, agile. And um, use the NAV token to turn. Then I go in here with my victory. Got a. I don't know what I had. I think I had a repair. Maybe a concentrate fire. I don't remember. Um, so, anyways, I drop a bunch of ton of dice. Uh, pretty much kill that strip. Kill the banana looking link. Hammerhead. No, the green guy. So he's able to live out of that. And then the banana one, I think, straight dies. Oh, I ram it. Didn't overlap the green, I guess. And then plop this down. Sorry, my commentary is a bit uh, unsure. It's been a while since I actually played the game. Um, I was busy with life things. So yeah, so I start to move all my rogues here. My online decimator rogue it up to hit this uh, the green hammer board and. And this is the last thing he's got on his board. And uh, we decided to call the game because I have a double arc. Um, uh, and yeah, I was trying to explain to him what my how my fleet works here. But yeah, uh, ultimately we called the game uh, because I have a double arc. Um, you know, essentially dead hammerhead. Um, and nothing I have really besides the Demolisher is near dead. Even the Demolisher, though, is still has a significant haul because it's Mahdi. So it was, uh, it was a pretty good game here. Like I said, he made some pretty big mistakes early on, which which he couldn't really play out of because uh, this fleet isn't really designed to let you do that. Um, so it was a, it was a quick four-round win there for me. Uh, I'll always take a 400-0. But uh, again, it, it wasn't. It was kind of hollow at the same time because of how exhausted he he was uh, due to work and whatnot. So it's a good game overall. Uh, I think he learned that fleet ambush is not something you ever ever take. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.